Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Okini Arena here in Osaka, Japan. Bosnia and Herzegovina in Japan. Game day three of Group A of the Women's World Cup qualifier. The next stop after today's game for these two teams will be Sydney, Australia. Both teams will have qualified for their spot in the Women's World Cup. Last game for Azania Stewart and me, Mark Clark. Azania, it's been okay, a curtailed, a curtailed tournament because of the absence of Belarus. Yeah. But we've already had two great games. Yeah, really great games. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how Bosnia reacts from uh, yesterday. So, uh, you know, they, they lost quite badly, but we'll talk about that when you talk about this table. Well, the table shows Canada with their one-on-one -on -one record. Japan have an opportunity to win uh, this uh, World Cup qualifying tournament. And with that, there'll be some, uh, the bonus of uh, improvement in their FIBA World Ranking that currently sits at eight. Bosnia ranked at 27 on those FIBA World Rankings. Uh, obviously, every win will contribute to moving up. And if you're the higher you are up, then potentially the better, better seed you get mm -hmm. when it comes to the World Cup. So obviously a lot to play for, as well as Bosnia and Pride. And we saw Canada bounce back so well after an opening day defeat. They sure did. So yeah. We... Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> so we're going to get into the ind individual player introductions. And this Japanese team has got a great crowd behind them today, mm -hmm. Azania. And it's, uh, it's great to see so many people come out on a Sunday evening here in Osaka. Uh, it's raining outside, but there's going to be a lot of action on the inside. Yeah, hopefully they're raining threes in here. But uh, for me, Bosnia, like I said, fell pretty hard by 32 points yesterday to Canada, 64-96. They really didn't show any cohesiveness until the third quarter, uh, which they looked like the Bosnia that I saw in the Eurobasket last summer. John Claude Jones did have to play 37 minutes, which is entirely too many in my opinion, but she had 15 points shot five from 14 so hopefully she can finish a little bit better around the rim and then Babich a silent 16 uh, but you know I don't think their defense was up to par uh, for the Canadians and today is going to be an even harder uh, task for them because Japan is not going to slow down in my opinion they came back like you said down 20 to Canada it was unbelievable they put full steam ahead and came back 86 79 a fantastic team win mark in my opinion everyone who touched the floor scored so that was great and then um, Takashi with 12 points eight rebounds as she hasn't played in two years so that was fantastic to see her get her groove back and then uh, number three Stephanie Mauli I thought she had an outstanding game also really got the swing of it in the fourth to push that game over the edge to beat Canada with 18 points and four uh, rebounds. So I'm interested to see also one other player, sorry, uh, number 23. Wow. Yeah, uh, Yamamoto. She what is an fast. What an engine. She is the smallest player on the court, but watch out for her, ladies and gentlemen, because she is nothing but Jets. Well, we're going to have both national anthems now of uh, both countries and Bosnia and Herzegovina will be the first national anthem that you hear. The national anthem of Bosnia and Herzegovina.
And now the national anthem of Japan. The national anthem of Japan. Well, both teams can see the uh, intensity on their face during the uh, national anthems. Here's the third team on the floor, the officials, Mr. Salinas, Mr. Pachiao, and Mr. Dosari from Latvia, Puerto Rico, and uh, Qatar, respectively. They take charge of the last game. Been a difficult tournament for the officials, obviously. There's been half the games lost, so every official has got at least one game, but... Uh, and the officiating being up to the standard you come to expect. Here's the starting lineup for Japan, Azania, and the word is team. Yes, for sure. And I spoke about the two there, uh, Takashi and uh, Maoli, but we forgot to speak about ADA Akaho. She played fantastically. Also, 15 points, nice razzle dazzle, some, uh, you know, alley oops from the Japan team. So it'll be interesting to see how they get going. But for me, it's how Bosnia respond from yesterday's big loss. You know, uh, like we said, all both teams make Sydney down under. But also, I've also talked about uh, the moments that you get playing with your national team. It's not there's not many moments before that tournament that you can get together. So this is probably the only real life game that they're going to get before Sydney in September. So it's really important that they feel good, have moments that they can learn from, and uh, and move on. Yeah, this starting lineup's got to lead, got to start this game well. So Bosnia lead on a positive, leave on a positive. Yeah. Yeah, Babic for me, she did have 16 points, but wasn't really aggressive until the fourth. You know, the mother of dragons, Jonko Jones, uh, missed some chippy shots, but I felt Canada uh, played great defense on her, really squeezed her, made her have to make some tough shots and get the ball out. So it'll be interesting to see how Japan watch that game and what they do with her, because she is incredible. She can put up 30 plus points. And that point you made there, it's, you can't play a one-on-one, -on -one, can you, John no. Cole Jones? It's going to be a case of what defensive uh, rules and strategy that Gohan Lojo puts in as we see the Tiso countdown to tip off one minute before this final game of this World Cup qualifier here in Osaka, Japan. Uh, as always, the Japanese have been tremendous hosts against the backdrop of uh, difficult restrictions, shall we say, but what we've ended up with is uh, two great games already and one more to come. Yeah. Uh, be... The other thing not to forget is that, okay, John Cole Jones, one of the best players in the world at the moment, uh, but before her injury, Hashki had a long-term contract in the WNBA. She's a quality player in her own right. So it's, uh, and the way the Japanese play team basketball, it's gonna be a real challenge to see how Jones deals with, but also, will, will someone else from Bosnia step up and take responsibility and knock down open shots. Yeah, I think that's important. And they did well. John Cole Jones drove and then kicked. So Bosnia have to be ready to shoot that mid-range jumper to three-point shot. But with Japanese, they are a beautiful team to watch. They play pretty much perfect basketball. They play together, very disciplined, beautiful passes and fantastic shots. So I'm excited to see the home nation do their thing. Well, you and a 2,000 fans, and it's, uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere in here this evening. So welcome back to Osaka. Bosnia in the yellow uniform, Japan in the red. We're underway, and wherever you're joining us from, just watch and enjoy the way this Japanese team plays. 
this team game as a great team. In the half court, Japan get a first look at it. Turn the corner, kick to the corner, wide open three. It's good. Wow. There they go, right on uh, Q. Miyakashi, oh. she can fill it up, Mark. She really does, but she passed that one off. Pick and roll the other way, they go away from Jones and they get the easy two and uh, nice execution and uh, Jasbo gets the two. Jasbo had a lot, uh, great game yesterday, I thought, also, because so much defensive um, pressure is on Jones. So good pick and roll, nice finish. Bosnian defense really do have to contain the ball if they get into a situation where they are chasing it. This Japanese team share it so well, they're going to end up with open looks. Look at Hashki outside, little flare screen, open three is short. Hashki picks her own rebound, but it comes off her thigh. And Hashashi was uh, wide open again, and that can't be a good sign for this. We had questions about Bosnia's we defense. We sure did. Wow, long pass. And uh, stopped by uh, the Mauli. Yeah, good just defense. A great job getting back. I don't know how much she knew about it. Ashki with a mid-range jumper is long. And Jones gets her first positive stat, a little casual. I don't think she's going to be able to be casual against this Japanese defense. She handles it full court. She can't really do that. Just, she, can't, she can't get those hips going oh, forward, no, right? No, no she can't. Um, but we talked about, as we see Jonka Jones bring up the ball, that is in her repertoire, she can bring up the ball. Uh, Bosnia's second defense, they need rebounds. We saw that yesterday, which they fell. They let Canada get multiple possessions at the rim. To the inside, needs a pass. Hits the back of the backboard. And Delic had nowhere to go and, and killed her dribble. But they're going away. It's an obvious decision to go away from Jones early doors. Mm. Well, let's see how that works. Yeah, we'll see how that works. And that would be okay if they then got it back to her later in the set, but let's have a look. I think that's when she's best, to be honest. Zaki stops and is fouled on the pull-up. And that first step is giving the Bosnian defense a lot of problems. Unable to contain the dribble. Yeah, but Mia Kashi's her speed, as we see, that's easy for the referees to call. Uh, she is very, very quick. Second on the three throw line is good for one. And Miyazaki opens out two for two from the line and Japan with a really solid start. Talic. A full court press. Almost a back court. Probably a travel, but Babich gets away with it. Gonna go under on Taris. She falls up for the mid-range two. And can't get to the offensive guard. Miyazaki will push. Gets into the open floor. Tries to like the, to drop it inside. And they recover. Great first step. Yeah, he goes up with that runner. Doesn't get it to go. Defensive rebound is collected by Delic. And they just don't stop, do they? No, they don't. <laughs> A missed shot just leads to defense yeah, straight away. They're on it. Takashi there was uh, very good, uh, hesitating, getting in that lane. And if uh, if it wasn't intense enough and quick enough to start, that here's my favorite. Almost like that Duracell battery advert. Yeah, she's she the is. one. That, she's the one that keeps going longer than everybody else. Yeah, number 23 Yamamoto on the ball. Watch her defense. Nice pass, Jones on the inside for two, and Tarrant, and that's part of the uh, play earlier on because she was an, earned the respect of the defense. Mm. Good offense by Bosnia there. Ball's knocked away, better job on the ball. They're going to be a loose ball foul that Babich is going to be charged with. She puts her finger up and says, me, sorry. Uh, but they're playing aggressive, much better defense. They've got to do that. That's their style, you know, really interrupt uh, Japan's offense. Jones is all over the passing lane, knocks it away. Dorakashki for once was a little static to collect the basketball. Japan on the out of bounds, go to the same player. Yeah, Imamoto gets, uh, gets it back, comes off the ball screen, gets to the elbow, has a look, crosses over for the two, is short. Jones collects and gives it up. Chance of Bosnia in transition. Babich 
looks inside but decides that doesn't look a good option. Jones with the three is long. The defensive rebound is collected by Ayako. Hands it off. Yamamoto gets to the lane, is fouled. And as soon as Bosnia don't contain the dribble. Yeah, there's problems. It's tough. But also uh, here, as we see, come off that pick and roll. And it's so, it's undisciplined basketball for me. Putting those hands in, slapping down, is so easy for referees to do their job. And, and now they're at the line, you know, for freebies so early in, uh, in the quarter. Ronaldo makes the first. And it's a tempo that uh, is both effective, but also the crowd love it. Yeah. Yamamoto yeah, goes two for two. Japan have the seven to four advantage, seven to go in the first. And they're up the floor again. And Tarish is going to hate Yamamoto. Yeah, here goes the struggle. They've got to get it over. They're everywhere. Just about beat the uh, eight count. Looks, a, let's just say, scrappy, but they managed to get it. Babbage, great attack on the closeout. Extra pass, wide open. Taric for three, it's good. And somehow they made it over the halfway line and ended up with a nice decision at the offensive end to tie the game at seven. Yeah, great poise by uh, Bosnia there. Getting the open shot and not giving up. Imamoto looks at her options. Kayo in the corner. And Babic just looks at her coach and he goes, get your hand up, because yeah. she just looks at her shooting the ball. And Japan three for three from deep. Well, sorry, two from three from deep. And there is uh, Pesti Yamamoto's defense. She's definitely not going to uh, slow down or give up. And Taric on the sideline is just pleading almost with uh, teammates to just get open, because otherwise she's going to have to work so hard against this defense. Taric has it, goes to Babich in the corner. Jones gets it, fills the double team. Well, there's the team answer to that. She skips it. Attack on the closeout, inside out. John Cole Jones, what a take for two. That was hers. That was hers. You just throw it up there and she'll get it. Much better finishing by her around the rim today also. Bosnia looking like Bosnia today. Yamamoto gets to the foul line, backs out, wide open. Takata gets it, and that's... Good hands. More aggressive and more active. They're yep. getting something going, but uh, Takata just missed giving uh, Akaho another wide open three. Mass substitutions for Japan, and it's just they're just so interchangeable. Yeah. And Kondo gets her first time in this. Uh, faster for faster. Yeah. Miyayashi and Kondo check in. Akoya has already checked in. Takada's already checked in. The open three is long. And Jones is uh, beginning to accumulate rebounds already. Jones outside with a size advantage. Spins and gets to the middle. Everybody wanted a piece, and in the end, Takada's going to be charged with a personal, I think. Yeah, and there she could kick it, but good look. She draws three defensive players, but they're all over her, and the referees are all over it. Foul. I mean, if you are going to go in, you've got to go hard, haven't you? Yeah. No, you can't go soft as you, as you step in. Very true. Jones in the block, fills the double team, extra pass, corners wide open. They turn down the corner for the open three. And Taric, shall we ask, were they going to step up and make the open shot? And the answer is yes. Yes, well done as they get pick and roll. Another rebound Jones for the looks Mother long. Dragons. Taric, it's amazing what confidence can do. Little kick, Jones has it. The last thing she needs is, oh, what a pass around the back. I don't think uh, they were completely ready for that, but they scrambled it. Delic did well to recover. And Jabo was composed on the finish. Three is no good for Kondo, who appears to think like she has a green light. Mm, she just came off the bench. Talic is 
draw on the foul on uh, much, Motahashi. Much better poise from uh, Bosnia today, I think. They're really getting into their stuff. The only thing that I'm worried about is this is a four-quarter game. Yep. And they're in the first and they're a little bit gassed, but this is what Japan makes you do, play very, very fast, very, very aggressive. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if they can uphold this for all four quarters. Malicia Derrick, who can shoot the three as well. Shoot the three really well, over 40% in Europe Cup. Far side of the ring, Jones blows the layup, and that's a little bit deja vu from yesterday. Takada, Togiashki will reverse the basketball. They find Takada, feet set from the three-point line. It is good. Yeah, Japan aren't going to miss many of those wide open three-point shots with their feet set. They're great shooters. Nice wrap. The open mid-range is no good. And Tokashki comes down with the defensive rebound. Japan will push again. Open three on the end of the break is no good. But Sakata's all over the offensive glass. Inside out. Wow. It's no delay, no hesitation. And Kondo with that green light is going to shoot it on site. Well, shoot is shoot. And uh, Bosnia won a timeout to talk about it because uh, Japan aren't shy at home. They are going to let that thing fly. Well, there's the great find by Takada off the offensive boards. And you know, they can't let them get their feet set. No, they really can't. And and for me, they're just moving constantly. And that's what's so tough as John Cole Jones uh, pretty much runs this timeout. We'll try and listen in. Yeah, just to uh, explain, normally we would have a microphone in the uh, timeouts, but because of the local restrictions, they can't have an additional person on the court, so you might be able to hear some of the timeout. Um, I think uh, they said they put a mic on the floor. Yeah, I, I think the Bosnians have their timeout too far away from it. Ah, uh, okay. But Coach Lojo is going to be a much happier coach than he was uh, yesterday because his team has come out and been much more aggressive offensively. Yeah, they definitely have. And also looking for John Cole Jones in different ways in their offense, not her being the first uh, factor. And, and But she is drawing three defensive players at certain times. So And her teammates are hitting shots. So much, much better, 14 to 16 in the first quarter. Japan come back out of the timeout with a 1-2-2 two, two trap. And they're just so quick, they're going to chase. Nice job, though, by Bosnia. They fly in the lighthouse down the middle of the floor. Jones now in the block, has the one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to drop onto a nice find. Tarrant's going baseline, needs a pass. Oh, I thought it hit the back of the backboard, too. It sure did. Mui to the glass for two is good. And when she goes, she goes to the glass. Yeah, this is uh, right where she left off uh, <laughs> the other day on Thursday. Tarich. Jura turns down the open look, goes to the ring for two. And she shoots a better percentage from three than two. Jones is off with a three. Better effort on the glass again, though, by Bosnia, but Japan secure. Tokashki outside will look to hand off. Murahashi will kick. Marie with the three is short. And Jones gets another rebound. She's a one round, she's a rebound magnet at the moment. Again, nice find. Jura's got to knock that down. So that's what she does, is short. And we've got a foul, a loose ball foul on the glass. That'll be the 14 foul for Bosnia. Yeah. That was a nice fake too, a shame that she couldn't uh, knock that down but, down, but Jabo asks for a sub and that's what I'm talking about. It's so fast, uh, you know, you get tired very, very quickly and I just don't know how much uh, energy, especially that they played yesterday, they have in those legs of theirs. But that's the other great thing, isn't it, for them in, in terms of uh, national team competition, back-to-back -back mm. games in a tournament. And Bosnia couldn't secure it. Hey, and let's not forget Japan are the silver medalist yep. from uh, from Tokyo. 
Yeah. 2021 slash. Zaki. Pop to the open three is good. And you've just got to say, this team at the moment, absolute green light from the three-point line. Hey, Ashley gets her second three of the day. Guess it's a three-point contest yeah. for Japan. Pawn set for Bosnia. Jones will pop. They look high-low. Well, one, it was a tough pass, but the rotation defensively, well, the I actually just flew while the ball was in the air. Yeah, really great defensive rotation here. As you see her coming right under and just getting there. Great defensive rotation by Japan. Tokashiki will sit. They're back on the uh, smaller lineup this time. Jones steps through, second move for two. Great touch. Just a super touch. Oh, this is quick. Japan moved the ball. Nothing sticks. They turn it over, though, recovered. Akaho gives it up. They're going to go pick and roll. Izaki off the glass for two. Izaki doing what she does best, high off the glass. So John Cole Jones can't block that shot. Great offense. Skip Tarich takes a breath. Tries to turn the corner, goes inside, draws contact. Nice move. Mm. Right down the middle. Here, I like this little pick. And just gets a slap on the wrist and goes to the line for two. And Jones is uh, going to take the this minute and the quarter break, but when they do just guard her, there is that lane down the middle if mm -hmm. someone's going to try and break the defense down. Yeah, I think they've obviously spoke about that uh, before this game. Okay, so much attention is going to go to John Cole Jones. Let's uh, make sure we get our shots and go into the rim. Misses both, sadly. We need those points. Freebies. 23 to 16 in the last minute of what's been... Uh, Frantic, we need the quarter break to catch some breath here. <laughs> Louis sure outside, do. we'll hand it off. Miyazaki waits for the ball screen, gets a stagger on it, stops in the hole to pop it, is off. That's a rebound. Ayo just moved early, the open three off the offensive board is no good. And the defensive rebound by Nikolina Delic. Taric. He's thriving in this game, really taking responsibility. Drops it inside. Off the glass for two. They wanted the extra point, too, and they may have some calls for that. Yeah. And Helic. That was a tough finish. It's her first two, and she, well, that was tough. This is why, this is how Bosnia were the fifth best team in Eurobasket. Yes, they were. They're playing like themselves, and a steal here. And they get a chance with four seconds on the clock. Taric with a little runner. is good for two, and Taric. Single-handedly, her confidence has just spread throughout this Bosnian team. And at the end of the first half, they've closed it to a three-point game. Japan lead it at the moment, 23 to 20. And there we see uh, the first quarter. Uh, percentage is 64%, 7 from 11 from Bosnia. And then from the three-point shot, 45%, 5 from 11. They are not shy, ladies and gentlemen. They are letting it fly. Uh, and for me, I think great finish right there by Bosnia. Nice little push by Taric to end the quarter as we'll get to see the best plays of the first quarter. And it no doubt will be uh, the three show from Japan, but uh, I'm really happy to see Mark uh, Bosnia come out and, and look like themselves, being aggressive on defense, uh, taking their time on offense, not only looking for Jones, but themselves. And that's always the problem here. You played this game for, for long enough to know that if you've got a star, it's, yeah. it's not the performance. You know your star's gonna show up. Yeah. Everybody else has to Around get there. Them. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, but they're doing a much better job also on the rebounding effort. Yesterday, I think it was very, very poor. Canada was able to get two to three offensive rebounds, and they're doing a much better just crashing, as we saw. Oof, John Cole Jones, tough to guard. Um, 
so good. Good for Bosnia to react, and that's why that was the question I asked before this game started. Can they respond from yesterday's game? And they sure have. Down three. Yeah, and that change of not going to Jones on the first pass is obviously everyone else gets involved and does open up the middle. Yeah. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can scan your QR code. Oh, that's a little bit fast, but it will come up again for us where you can get all your information about the World Cup in Osaka, in Serbia, and in Washington, D.C. There's been some fantastic games, Mark. I must admit, I was up early this morning watching Serbia, Australia. Ah, oh, great game. Great Jet, game. That Jet was lag a great one. had me up. <laughs> or the uh, Tokyo Drift loud cars outside, one or the other. I mean, the other thing is, if you're as old as me, then just the straight website will do. You know, the FIBA, the FIBA site is also somewhere where you can get all that information. Well, back at the start of the second quarter, Bosnia with the first possession. Jones, little lean away, that's short, just about scrapes the paint. But Bosnia stay on the glass, much better effort, and they come up and get rewarded. And just hustle play from Bosnia, nice find. Stop and pop, and they just can't get. They had three looks. Uh, that's tough for Bosnia. And Joe Meta couldn't get the third one to go, but good signs for Bosnia. Stop and pop, mid range two is no good. And no Japanese player on the offensive glass, and I didn't think I'd ever say that. Good energy again from Bosnia. Jura, left hand off the glass again, can't complete on the penetration. Japan, three on one. And they end with the open three. It's good. Hayashi with yet another three for Japan. They're not afraid to shoot that thing, are they, Mark? Not at all. Jones and kicks, extra pass. Just move it and shoot it, Bosley, if they've got the open look. Jones, honestly, on the inside, doesn't get it. They end up with a tough three that looked uh, a little snatched. Jones. Comes up with the offensive rebound. Babich for three. They can't buy a basket at the moment. That's their fifth attempt in the first minute and a half. And they've come up empty. As she goes to the hoop, needs a pass, finds one. Mui with the three. Doesn't get it to go. And Will Meta will... Uh, Bring it up. Slow us all down. Yeah, just take your time, get a solid score. Jones is foul, and that, once you let her get going downhill like that, you're not stopping, it's going to be a foul. Yeah, she's too long and lean here. Look, as she gets her steps, once she's downhill, like you said, that's tough to guard. Um, for me, disappointing for Bosnia, they, they're working so hard for offensive possessions, doing much better, uh, crashing the boards, getting t second and third. Uh, looks at the basket but just can't finish and execute and then especially down on this Japanese end they're letting those threes rain you know so you've got to slow that down I think and that's the other thing of scoring all nothing better than stopping the break by scoring mm. you know and they've had good opportunities but that's the positive for coach Loho and uh, his team and if they carry on like this they're going to leave Osaka with a lot of positives they're down four 26 to 22 eight to go in the second and uh, Mooney outside, puts it on the floor. Everything just opened up for her. She can't complete. Jones has another rebound. Just a rebound Machine. demonstration. Mm -hmm. Nice pass. And the easy two, all about the pass, though. You had to hold on to that, though. Delic did a nice job with the, with the catch and then soft touch on the finish. The three, and they're becoming... A little bit three-point happy, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, I think they can get something much, much better. We didn't see them shoot this much uh, against Canada the other night. I think uh, they're so much better when they drive and kick for the three-point shot, not look for the three-point shot. As we see Jonko Jones ball handling and a nice little dime and soft touch. And Takashi's not getting any touches for Japan at all, and that's never a good sign. Here's Jones in the block, guarded by Takashi. Nice find, the long two, feet on the line, it's short. And Bosnia are going to rue these open misses. Mui beats everyone down the floor and gets the two. On the missed shot, they're gone. Yeah, <laughs> you better get back on defense because they are in a track meet, not a basketball game here. 
Joe Meta gets Bosner into the half court. Jones catches that deep, should be two. Oh, blows it. Akaho will advance the ball. Bowie, little give and go on the bounce pass. Iko stays with it. If she gets up, she's going to travel. Good defensive possession there. Uh, they just need to finish around the basket, but full court pressed by Japan. They're not turning it down at all. When you have a think that uh, it was 6.30 to go, you know, Japan may have just said, right, this half, we're just going to run and gun it and see where we are. Let's see if they can keep up. Jones fade away, soft touch for two. These rings are soft. Yeah, the rim is her friend. We saw that yesterday as well, didn't we? Norahashi is just about going to recover that. Miyoshi is fouled as she collects, his, collects the loose ball. John Meta with the personal. was the release. She looks to post up, but doesn't get a look. They settle for the three, is long. And that's a nice work on the glass. Bosnia again doing a much better job. Jones in transition, pulls the trigger for three and fills it up. And Bosnia lead it by one. And even though they've missed a lot of makeable shots, their intensity in this second quarter has been exceptional. Yeah, it has. And uh, John Cole Jones can shoot the three also, Japan. Taste of your own medicine. Miyoshi penetrates, going to have an offensive foul. Okoya with the personal. You know where you are, by this stage, you know, the, the officials are really tidying up ball screens and screen actions. By this stage, you know you can't roll through people. Yep, you've got to set a solid screen. You cannot move those feet. No dancing around here or referees will get you. And Taris continues to do more than survive with the ball. Needs a pass. Abic comes off the ball screen, gets into a little hole, goes pick and roll. Nice find. The three is long. And that'll be a Japanese basketball. You've got to like Delic and Taric. They're not shying away from the responsibility. No, not today. at all. They're working hard on both ends, to be honest. Putting their body on the line. Okay. Again, defensive effort is so much better. Miyoshi. Ten on the possession. Miyazaki gets it up. Okoye wraps the pass. And I think that's going to be a Bosnian basketball. Yep. I, I don't think it touched anybody. Sure is. Let's just call it an ambitious pass. You have to be John Cole Jones to catch those. <laughs> yeah, you, it's not as if you have space. You just got to create your own space. Taric stops, pops the three, is no good. Takada, four on two break. Takada goes and wraps the pass. Akoye with the open three, is good. She can shoot that. We did see her shoot that against Canada. And she led them in scoring in the Asia Cup. So when they really did have a really different team, they really looked the younger experienced in that in that competition. Upstairs for Jones, in space, can't finish. Just created a little hole and you can see the frustration because it's a tough catch and just couldn't finish the play. Yeah, but that's what Canada did to her uh, yesterday. Also just squeezed her look, lots of bodies around her. And uh, she's asking for the call and gets a little animated there. But you've got to finish it. And sometimes when you've got that much size and you would have experienced this, the referees almost say you should make it. Yeah, and they, they don't give you they enough pick protection. On us, Mark. Yes, I think so. The lean away by uh, Tokashki is no good. Two on one. And Bosnia execute it and get the two. Nice finish by Delic. 
and this Bosnian team in the second quarter has come to play. Yeah, Jabo's really done a great job in my opinion. I think she's had two great games yesterday and today here. As you see them push on the break, just a little up finish, soft on the paint. So really, really good job by Bosnia. They're not going away. You know, they're, they're being tough and they knew they had to respond from yesterday because that was not the Bosnia that I, I've seen as Japan uh, calls a timeout and wants to talk about it. Hey, Mark, we've got to put in our uh, top five and our MVP, so go ahead and think about that and uh, send your message in. Pretty cool moment after the uh, taunt, uh, after this game, sorry. Uh, All-star five and an MVP. Obviously, Bosnia is not here, and we get to uh, vote as we obviously have been watching all the games and all the action. So, Mark is going to go ahead and pick that. I've already sent mine in. I'm his partner in crime, so I'm here to help. Don't worry. Talic picks up the personal. Sideline possession. And uh, Yazaki will inbound. Tukashki, nice skip. They run that play a lot. Tukashki gets another touch. Getting more touches since she's uh, come back in. The three is just rainbow-like from Hayashi. Little ball fake. Takes a single dribble, creates a little space, and just puts it up there. Jones puts it on the floor. Has it knocked away? Takada no can't control it, and they're going to go back to Japan. Really frustrating and all over uh, John Cole Jones here. Look, ah, oh, well. Statistically, or the law of averages, whatever you want to say, when she goes on that penetration and three or four people are slapping at it, it's not clean. No, it's not. And uh, she needs a little bit of, uh, of help here. Otherwise, she's going to end up frustrated, being slapped yeah. at the whole game, and slapping somebody back. That's the unfortunate time. Yep. Yeah. Miyazaki will advance the basketball. It just gets it over the timeline. Nice little pass, another three. Huh. I guess they're going to live and die by that bad boy, aren't they? Nice swing. Ten on the clock. Down the lane for two. Babic. Babic coming to play. And I guess she goes and dives to the post, doesn't get it wide open. They are high. It's good for three. I just love the way this kid plays the game. Akaho with a feet set. Sometimes by not moving, you create space. And when they were starting to struggle a little bit percentage wise, they've just steadied the ship. Pretty much the starting lineup back in the game. Tarich steps through on the post up for two and continues to impress. Yeah, Tarich is playing very, very hard and finishing. They've just got to find these three-point shooters of Japan. That is what is letting them down. And Japan are not shy from the beginning to the end of this game. They are going to let it rain. Akaho again gets it done. Just so efficient, so effective. And Jones uh, this time will get the holding foul drawn on it. Yashi and Takata do the normal thing they've done in this uh, tournament so far, just replace each other. Yep, and uh, Speedy Gonzalez, number 23, Yamamoto is back. Yamamoto, and she's got a lover. You know, she's, she's a moto. No? 
I think so. I'll go with that. The open three is no good. Defensive rebound. I've been hanging around with Jeff Taylor too much, guys. Akaho penetrates, kicks, and on top of the threes, gets the assist. Unbelievable, Mark. Four threes in a row. Bosnia go down and score every time and still end up eight down because Japan run it and shoot it. And if you're not challenging shots, they're making shots. That's for sure. They are now 11 from 21 from the three-point line, shooting 52% from the three. Unbelievable. Crowd loves it. And so do we. And Bosnia want to talk about it. At least run them off the three-point line at this point. But it's so it's so tough because they've got back in transition and yeah. they get and it's not like they're coming down with a second trade or anything. Everyone's down the floor, everybody spots up. Yeah. And you've just got to protect the basket. But they, they do such a good job at finding each other. Yeah, they do, and that's what we spoke about, Japan playing as one unit. If uh, if it's not a good shot, they're passing it on, they're driving, they're kicking. And they've had not a lot of uh, two-point shots right now. That's, everything is three. Everything. Look, moves the ball, lovely. Doesn't matter. Let it rain. Great shot there by Kaho. She had a lovely game yesterday oh, also. Yeah. Uh, on Thursday, excuse me. And we can't forget, I've said it already once, but I, I don't mind saying, you're a silver medalist, Japan. Yep. That's a big boy medal in a, in a great tournament falling to USA in the, in the final, but this team is, is here to stay. And that's only a 15-point game, don't forget. It wasn't, and it was. It, it was a game. It wasn't a, a one-way traffic game at all. Mm. Taric looks inside, has nowhere to go. We'll reverse it. Babic wants, but gets it very static. Louis goes under. Babic pulls the trigger for three and doesn't get it to go. Right decision. Poor execution. Down the other end, the three is gone. And the Aho can't get it. And Bosnia have a chance to eat into this eight-point advantage. Taric. A little hesitation. Babic. And hesitated. Just about got it off. Jones gets it down low. Goes to the baseline and one. I know uh, Jones is going to be like, thank you. Referee, give me one because she's been working hard. But you know what? Down on this offensive end, I'm saying, wow, they're shooting threes, but they're wide open. Yeah. In that transition, Japan, as we see John Cole Jones, nice little baseline move. Uh, in transition, Japan is pushing the ball and then they're just finding the wide open shooter. So it's not like I'm saying, hey, stop shooting the three. It's the right shot. They're oh, a yeah. three point in shooting team and they're finding the right person in the right place. And we, uh, we always say about Japan, don't we? They're, they have a way of playing and they're not going to go away from it. Because uh, on the first game, 15% from three in the first half. Didn't stop them. No. They were good shots. They just they had one of those days. Shooters are going to miss shots. Yeah. And the only way that your percentage goes back up if you keep taking the good ones. Yeah, you're right. And uh, there they had the uh, points in the paint. <laughs> not very many for Japan because they're letting it rain from the three-point line. <laughs> There's no need. And, and this is what uh, Bosnia need to do to really slow and be back into this game. Twos aren't enough. They've, you've got to slow down Japan. And right now, it's full steam ahead from the three-point line. So they took a timeout. And hopefully, that's what they're speaking about. It's uh, it's one of those times, I think, it's in particular in national team, because you don't have a lot of time to prepare. But you've got to have something else, another option. Yeah. And, and you know, they're, they're not being able to get back quick enough and pick them up. So. They're going to have to find another way to try and match up on those shooting spots. Mm. Or at least run them off the, the three-point line. Because right now, they're wide open three-point shots and, and good shots, and they're hitting them. Like I said, they're shooting 50%. Yep. Fantastic percentage from the three-point line. John Cole Jones already with 15 points, nine rebounds on the game. Make that 16 and nine. And she cuts it to a five-point game. A little extravagant, Louis just has it. And Takada now, her turn wide open. She can't get it to drop. But yet again, wide open. Wide open. Everybody gets dragged down. Here comes Jones. There's uh, around a seven-second differential, so they're going to have to try and get something that they want early. Babich. Oh. 
I want to see it in slow mo because I feel how you feel. The referees are usually my friends, but let me have a look at this. I'm feeling her pain, I think is the phrase. Yep. Well, the camera guys knew we wanted to look, but they won't. But 20 seconds left with the speediest, fastest woman on the court. Yamamoto brings the ball down for Japan. Japan trying to hold Dent for the last shot of what's been an exciting first half movie. And a seven. Yamamoto. Oh, oh, Yamamoto. Wow. There's no smiles. Where's the Japanese typical smiles? Because that was incredible. A step back three. There it is. The smile that I love to see as Bosnia 38, Japan 46. Well, we're going to half time. I know Bosnia is, uh, as you see, John Cole Jones asking the referee, please, but the three-point line, 50%, 12 from 24 Japanese are really something special from the three-point line. Re rebounding game, pretty even, even assist game and steals. Uh, it's just the Japan three-point shot. Jones uh, with 16 and um, Hayashi with 15. So here we'll get to see the best of the first half plays, Mark. Tell me if uh, you're Bosnia and you're in there, what are you telling them? Well, I think you, the thing you've got to get to here is you can't let teams keep doing the same thing. Please. You know, that's that's the thing. It's uh, Or do you say they're not a 50% free-point free shooting team? But they're, okay. they're going to be a three-point shooting machine unless you challenge it. Yeah. If you don't challenge it, you've got a real problem. And I think Bosnia should really highlight the positives. They've shot the ball, they've moved the ball well. They've competed on the glass, but they're gonna have to do something defensively. And if that means, hey, just scramble around, this just pick up earlier, this just make sure, whoever it is, even if you're John Quill Jones, get out there and run them off the three-point line. And there's no better example of it than the last play. Yeah. Hey, Yamamoto had it. What else was Yamamoto going gonna to do? do? You're right. Uh, but also uh, Bosnia having to work so hard for their two pointers. You know, they're working hard on offense, on defense. They're just missing that last rotation. And, and right now, you're right, you need to talk about they are shooting the three. That is the only thing that they are doing. So let's make sure we match up in transition yep. defense, one. Uh, and two, run them off the three point line. And let's see if they can do something else. But. And the other, the other option they have, obviously, and they're doing this quite well, is to get deeper on the shot clock, give the ball to Jones later, as they've done on a few occasions. I like that for them. You know, if, they, if, they, if they've got something early where they've got a really high percentage, then fine, take it. Otherwise, swing it, get to a second side, get to a third side even, and challenge that Japanese defense to stay disciplined on where they're going to help from. But if they keep running up and down, the team in red is just going to score too many points. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> You're right. I'll tell you what, though. Yeah. To cover them, they're fun. They're fun to watch. They are. They they put people in in gyms. This team, you know. There's there are teams that we both know that you go, hey, you know, if you're Marini Johannes, people will pay money to watch you play basketball. People are gonna pay money to watch this team play basketball. And you know why? Because it is. They, they're a beautiful, uh, as, like a team sport. You know, they all five players touch the ball before they shoot it. They have perfect, beautiful spinning passes they shoot the ball textbook and uh, and they have fun like yeah. you said they're, they're a, a nation that smiles uh, defensively offensively or bad or good well there's been some great games going on let's see the top plays from across this group and others who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation Representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all.
look at Alex step into the pass, take it away, give and go, puts it up and in. by Russell. Drill two going the other way. Collie with a little showtime. Shot clock winding down. Like this. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Johannes outdoes herself yet again. Throwing up a Hail Mary. Tracked down by Gray. She'll let the Stampede go past her. Be down low. No look to Andy. Wow. Okay, she's got to hurry. Mukamari, she does get it off in time. Oh, shit. Ah! Uh, welcome back, Saki Hayashi, 15 points, all from the three-point line, five from nine in that first half. And when you give her this much time and space, she's knocking down shots. The movement away from the basketball just creates that time and space, getting down the floor, running the floor. And five from nine is what you get because uh, this team's going to share the ball. If you're open, you're going to get it. No one's forcing anything on this team. the other way though Bosnia who have been so so much better in that first half in game one have found a way to get the best out of John Cole Jones 16 points 50 percent and I think both of us think that she's been a little bit uh, underprotected at times but uh, yeah she's more than capable of looking after herself yeah she is um, but it's tough you know but she is drawing three two to three defensive players every time. Uh, so, I don't know, I think that's much better. But also, you just have to be careful, right? You are going, you are in season. You're in the middle of season. So, yep. 
she'll be heading back to Russia uh, as uh, as soon as this game, probably tomorrow, like us. Like us, yes. So we're not going to Russia. We're going to uh, the motherland of Queen in Elizabeth. Fact, in fact, if she goes straight back to Ekaterinburg, she's not going to have a long flight. It's almost... Closer. It's very much closer. <laughs> yes, it is. We're all the way in Osaka, Japan, everyone. So, Hayashi with 15. Akaya with five as well as points and Miyazaki with five assists. And this team's always going to have a lot of assists, isn't it? They just share the ball beautifully. Yeah, they do a very good job of finding the open man and, the, um, and not afraid to share the ball. You know, I think this is why I really, really enjoy watching Japanese basketball. They play a team game. Like I said, their last game versus Canada, everyone who stepped on the floor scored. That's a beautiful thing. And I think the uh, the acceptance, if that's maybe not the right word, but the acceptance that on any given night, any one of you is going to go off. Yeah. And, and it doesn't matter who it is. And, I'm selfish uh, basketball, yeah. Absolutely. And it's um, people want you to take the open shot, want, the, want you to take the shot that's yours. And it's not about if someone's open, it doesn't matter if you have a shot. You're not going to shoot again if someone's better positioned than you. They share it really, really well. And maybe that's their key, as you see uh, number 27 there with 15 points, two rebounds, one steal. Hayashi, uh, maybe that's their key of success. That's the reason why they got uh, the silver medal. That's why they're pushing here and making yet again uh, the World Cup in Australia. So. Maybe a lot of teams and maybe players need to take a leaf out of J Japan's style. They are very respectful, very, um, you know, a, a nation of, they always bow, they always smile. I, I really appreciate this culture. They've done nothing but lovely things here for this tournament and then also treated us very well. They have indeed. And uh, at the moment, that uh, team style is putting a lot of pressure on this Bosnia Herzegovina lineup, Jones with her 16 and 9, Delic with six assists, and we were we were talking about looking for other people to step up. Delic is one of those, um, as we said, Jebo. Jebo has done well uh, too. The yeah. only player who still plays in Bosnia at the moment, she's at playoff in Sarajevo, and uh, which is Coach Lojo's original club, and it's uh, they're they're almost looking to become real contributors, they're going to make Jones an even better player. They have, they, you're right. But my concern, Mark, is can they keep that intensity up for another 20 yeah. minutes of basketball because the Japanese don't slow down at and, all. And that's uh, any team looking forward to Sydney in uh, the end of September. You can imagine the pre-game and the scout. It's like the guards are going to look at that game and go, all right, I've got, I've got to be ready to play here because I'm going <laughs> yeah. to get run off the floor. I'm going to be running around like yep. a headless chicken. And that's exactly what Bosnia are going to have to do uh, to stay and get back in this game. As we see uh, the mother of dragons, the uh, Bosnian team are called the Lady Dragons. And that's where she got the nickname from. I think uh, the, the third quote here, it, it's not one and lost, but if they don't start and well, don't have the same intensity, I don't see them having the uh, the weapons or the options to chase this game. They're going to have to keep this close to have a chance of winning. Yeah, and I think just that will wear them down. You know, this is a track meet. This isn't a basketball game, in my opinion. I think uh, Japan do such a good job in transition offense. As soon as they get the rebound, all five players are on the run. And uh, Bosnia have really struggled to match up in the full court transition defense. And, and Japan has definitely uh, executed at the three point line, shooting 50% and not shy about it. Well, last moments of instruction. They've yeah, been in watching that film. In that Japanese huddle. I'm assuming that must have been something they talked about in the locker room and he's just wanted to make sure that I can't believe it's the first time he's shown them that. Yeah, do you think that's offense on the screen or defense on the screen? I think it's probably defense in terms of, because they got it wrong a couple of times about where they were going to help from on Jones. They came high, she went baseline. And so I think if they get, they're going to have to get those things right if they're going to you know, start to control Jones a little bit better. Yeah, I think that's incredible too. Uh, great coaching style. If you can see it, I'm definitely a visual player. If you can see it very, very quickly, 
Uh, it, you know, you've got 40 seconds, you can talk about it. Uh, and, and great technology given to that team. It's, it's really important that you, you're all on the same page. And yet again, is the reason why they are the team that they are. And the, the, the final thing before this uh, second half starts, the other thing about this Japanese team is that every young girl watching this game mm. can relate to anyone on that team. They've got various options, guards, they've got good size now. There's such a, a focal point for basketball in the country. It's just a huge way of lifting the game. That they've got so many roles. They, these girls can actually see this team Themselves. play, and they can yeah. dream to be one of them. Yeah. Let's not forget about the the Tinies, the 23 Yamamotos. Yes. You know they are big and tall, and she gets her second start here. So fantastic for her yet again. So they're coming out with uh, the big guns or the little gun, shall we say, with Yamamoto. And no doubt she will run this offense and pick Bosnia up in full court defense. So welcome back, start of the third quarter. Japan with the eight point lead on the back of the three, right at the death of that first half. Yeah, who turns the corner, blows the layup. And Bosnia again contest and come down with it. Taric thinks about it, finds Jones on the trail. Behind the back is fouled. Again, situations where Jones has it with advantage. Mm. Here, look. People forget that Jungle Jones, that is a foul, she comes across her, have, has, excuse me, uh, ball, guard ball handling skill. She's a post player, but can handle the rock, and it's incredible to see. It's a big foul as uh, Hashki has to sit. That's a third, I think. Chance again for Japan in transition. Better job by Bosnia again. They need that trailer wide open. And Takada knocks it down. And it's really a poor I'm upset. rotation. Yeah, I'm upset. Mark. With 30 seconds into the first few minutes, and we're leaving a wide open three point shooter. Oh, drains the three. There's Delic from the corner. Once you've got back, you've got to channel out and pick people up. Yamamoto wraps it down to Kakada, he's blocked. Got to close out now, Takada on the floor, spins baseline, gets a little angle, is fouled as she tried to go up. She'll go to the free throw line. Smart play by Takada there, just took her time. She knew she had one-on-one, -on -one, no help, look, and just comes across her hands. Great little pass there by Yamamoto, but good block by Delic. Takada with a chance to make this a double digit lead. So she comes off the bench, and we talk about the issues that uh, losing Tokahashi could uh, give Japan if she has the three, then she gets fouled and goes to the line, and she's mm -hmm. had five quick points. Yeah. I wonder why they don't play Takashi uh, and her together. Yeah, it's, uh, they sub for each other. Which yeah. Whatever. That's why we're sitting here. Right. <laughs> we'll do our jobs up here and we'll let Coach down there do his thing. Tarrant's on the post up. Likes this option. Nash needs a pass. Extra. Long range two is no good. Jones is on the glass. Goes back up for two. Nothing you can do about that. No. Too big, too everything. Jones just keeps adding to the stats. Turnover, Babic in the lane. That might get her going too, gets the layup. And they're playing harder. This is a much more Bosnian-like performance than game day two yes, for them. Yes, sure is. And they, this was the third quarter that they played very, very well against Canada. Yamahoto hands it off. Yahoo gets it to Yamahoto. Puts it down the floor, takes the three, is short. Great work on the glass. We will relieve that pressure. The ball just gets moving straight away. Yamoto gets her feet set, lines up for three, doesn't get it to go. Maruli's on the glass. You can't well, go under screens either. No, and it's a oh, great seal by Takada. Just created the passing lane. They just dropped it down out of the pocket to her. All about the way that she held her space. Jones has 18 and 10. There's a double-double. 
and has it on the three-point line. Babich. They just need Babich to have a game there in this second half. Stops, pops the two, doesn't get it to go. Yamamoto. Here comes transition of Japan. They have to match up, you see? A little better, because they did have a hand on it that time. Taric fills the double team, needs a pass, and got no options and no help from anybody. Yamamoto, this is going up. He's short. And while Bosnia are doing so many things better, they've just literally gone to sleep on the glass. Yeah, here the trap and nobody comes to help. Travic there. And yet again, I'm talking about the transition defense is letting Bosnia down. You know, they're, they're not matching up quick enough, in my opinion, uh, because Japan are getting the same looks. OK, they're not hitting them, which we spoke about. They weren't going to shoot 50% again, but it's a, it, the exact same looks. Delic. In the lane, I think she's going to travel. And there's a direct comparison between the two teams. They come down, dribble, dribble, dribble. No options because mm. they haven't made it. And then going the other way, mm -hmm. pass, pass, move you, create advantage. Right. Different levels. Yep. Yamamoto. A little pick and pop. They're going to shoot that because Jones won't guard it. And that's going to happen. You've got to get it off. You've got to make sure they don't have feet set and shoot the three. Okoye gets the open three because Jones just can't force herself to get out. Babich. Little drops inside for the easy two, but they blow it. Jones cleans up the mess and gets the two. If they can hang in here, Bosnia, they're in the game. They just can't have those little lapses at this end of the floor. Sakada gets it down low. Babic tried to buy the offensive foul, gets nothing for you. Okoye going up, is fouled on the penetration. They're now at 46%, uh, 14 from 30 from the three-point line. It's, um, I think it's what you were talking about in terms of can they maintain this level because they're not maintaining this level at the start of the third. No, they're not. But it's tough, you know. Yeah. Japan sticks to the, their style, and, and I commend them. Koya hasn't. She's dead in the corner because she fumbled that little bit. No, they give her the dribble. Moto with three is long. Jones says, this is my house, and just knocks and just... Mm. But everyone in the yellow uniform just stood. Okoye for three is no good. Jabo gets the rebound. Maybe Bosnia need to uh, just reassert themselves here. Maybe they need to use the timeout to do that. Jones on the trowel. We'll hand it off. Babic. And we're pleading for Babic to get going. Yeah. Good defense by Japan. They're definitely turning it up and moving as the ball moves. Delic with the left hand is no good. Jones is on the glass, gets a rebound and puts it back up. Yeah, they've got to box her out. That's too hard, uh, too easy for her. With range. And Jones cleans up again. Jones is going to have a game here statistically. <laughs> yes, she is. And here comes the trap. Oh. Mot Motohashi almost got it, but they get the easy two. Motohashi in that time to help Jones get up. Mm, that's very sweet of her. <laughs> I'm not getting helping her up. And that's going to be a travel. No, I'm joking. Great uh, sportsmanship. But that's what I talked about, the respect. Um, and Jones is here having to play. As we see that big block there. Uh, she's having to play a lot of minutes, Mark. She is now at... Let's have a look. But uh, she'll be back. If, she, if it carries on like this, she'll be back up to 38 minutes, won't yeah, she? Yeah, she's at 24 right now. Jones has it in the block now. Takahata's going to come. They force a baseline. And that was good defense. They had her underneath, and she couldn't really create any angle. So I, I don't really think she has a, a claim there. Akoya's wide open for three. Got it! Incredible. They just keep coming at you. Yeah, and they're dancing. Mueli, I don't blame you because... The, the wide open layup, as we see the draw and kick in there. 
option of three. They can shoot it as well, but that's not enough for me. In transition, Japan are incredible. They, they turn down the two for a wide open three. Babic gets going at last. That's what Bosnia will be hoping. Mia Yaski puts it on the floor and kicks. And the three has gone again. It's good. Wow. Hayashi with the rainbow like three. Bosnia will take the timeout with 3.27 to go in the third quarter. It's an eight point game, and Japan are putting on a clinic of how to move the ball and shoot the ball. I'm just in shock <laughs> right now. <laughs> Usually, if I'm on a team that just keeps shooting the three, well, they're making it, but I'm like, hey, can we not shoot the three? Can we look for something inside? But they're a three-point shooting team, and that is exactly what they're sticking to. And, and I feel sorry for Bosnia at this point, because what else do you do? Uh, wow. There, 27 points off the bench and only two from Bosnia. And I guarantee you probably 26. Five of those points are three points. <laughs> no, it's it's uh, but I, I I to take your point though. Yes, ma. No, but and we asked why there's just a straight switch with Takada and uh, Tokayashi. Yeah. If you put more, if you put both of them in together, there's going to be two disappointed players on the inside. <laughs> they really are four out, one in, and yeah. even the one that's in can step out. Right. So it, and they do enough. Akaho and uh, Muli do enough on the glass defensively that it doesn't really hurt them. Hurt them, you're right. And they really go five spread, yeah. really. With uh, now Takashi number 10 back in, she can shoot the three. She hasn't really looked to shoot it, but she definitely draws the defense to her. And, uh, and then the full court press here, just to slow Bosnia down. It's just relentless activity, relentless as Babic Goes inside to Jones. Babich has just got a spot up now. If they feel the double team, find Babich. She's wide open. The extra pass, the open three is good. And that's there's the answer offensively. They've found the way to be consistent. Yeah, that is the magic formula for me. It goes in and out, and that's when you shoot the three. Meanwhile, down the other end, Miyazaki will hand it off. This team just move. Ayashi moves it on. Miyazaki drops it, doesn't drop it inside. They go over the screen this time, which is much better by Bosnia. He actually takes the long two, doesn't get it to go. Defensive rebound by Jones. And Bosnia have a chance to cut this to two or three on this possession. Oh, it's long. Great work on the glass is to no avail by uh, Delic. Koye drops it inside to Rahashki, jips it out to the three line. It's good. Did you see that? Mia Yashi, she had an open eight footer and turned it down. <laughs> she was right under the basket, Takashi, and said, nope, I'm going to find somebody on the three-point line. Incredible. Well, Bosnia try and answer the same way, and, and Japan say, you don't shoot that well enough. We'll give you that. Transition uh, two is crossover. good. Over. A rare sight. A two-point layup mark. Whoa, we haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh, they had the chance to cut it to two or three, and it's eked out to a 10-point game in the blink of an eye. Babic, and they've got to do it all again, Bosnia. And that's what I've talked about, such tough uh, scores here, as we see. Nice job by Babic to the far nice side of the ring. layup, but do you see how hard they're having to work for offense? Gashi moves it. Saki moves it on. Babic, I think, is going to get called for a hold, which is a little harsh, but probably correct. And it, she may have just tweaked her ankle a little. The other, the other amazing thing, for all the defensive intensity, Japan have fouled once, and that's only the third team fouled now for Bosnia. Wow. In this, in this quarter, it's just the defensive effort is just intense and quick. There's no one banging out here. No. And that's, again, the way Japan need it not to be a banging game. Yeah. And here they go. We've seen this before, this kind of weaving of the uh, guards. It's hard to defend. Yamamoto's back in. Doesn't get any slower. Muli's back in. And Jones gets another rebound. Chance 
again here for Bosnia to keep plugging away. Jones drops it in to Momento Jones goes down low, gets the two. Nice pass, and again, j -Bow continues to impress in this game. Yeah, good poise by uh, Bosnia there to get what they want. Yashi goes inside, Mooney kicks it. Extra pass. Yeah, yeah. For three. Oh, I just love the way she plays. She doesn't do anything apart from get open and shoot the open shot. Yeah. And just they just stay patient. Yeah. They don't they don't cre uh, creep in. They stay right there on the three point line and know that their teammate's gonna get it for them. Bosnia right. trying to hold for the last shot. Ten on the possession, ten on the quarter. Talic tries to turn the corner. Finds Jones, he's going to put up the three. Got it! And Jones ends the third quarter with the three. Keeps Bosnia in it, and after all the quality that Japan have put on the floor, John Curl Jones is going to close this to a six-point game at the end of the third quarter. As we see there, 64 to Bosnia, 70 to Japan. Mark, I want to know, did we come to a basketball game or did we come to a three-point contest? I, we're seeing a great basketball game at a great pace. There you go, you yes. find the answer. 49% Japan is pretty much at the same pace as in the first half, 18 from 37. But Bosnia shooting the three also, 40, 39%, excuse me. It is a three-point contest, so it's who is going to start missing some of these three-point shots as we see the best players of the third quarter, which will no doubt be three-pointers from Japan. But uh, it's who's going to run the team off the three-point shot, but also um, Bosnia needs stops, Mark, and they need a fair few of them. Yeah, and I think uh, when it comes down to how, in one quarter, what are they going to do to turn around a six-point de deficit? Mm. It's not a lot. No. no. Take away these open threes. Yeah. Just that. If you play the way you've been playing, take away those wide open threes. Yeah. Take Don't away. Take away wide open threes and also um, one shot and the rebound is yeah, what you, they need. Absolutely. And if you just contain the person on the floor with the ball mm. and you don't get into help, you shouldn't really be giving in the up the open threes. And it's uh, why it's a joy to watch for us. If you're a Bosnian fan at home, you're. How many times is your team going to be able to come back? Because they've been down double digits three or four times. Yeah, correct. And they've managed to fight their way back. And Jones, with that three, takes them into the uh, the break with all the momentum. There's that QR code again that sneaks up on you if you're at home. But just check out the official FIBA website for the World Cup. All the news, all the stats. And there'll be so many highlights from this these qualifying tournaments. And in the build-up for the draw that's in March and the tournament itself at the end of September, there's going to be so much news. Get onto the website, get the official information. But we're, here we are, start of the fourth. 70 to 64. And Jura, who could really help this team, but not if she turns it over. Two on one break. It goes up and manufactures a layup that's not in the textbook. No, I thought she was going to pass it off, that's for sure. Uh, great finish by her. She's tough. Akaho getting it done inside, outside, and defensively. Tarich. Open three is no good. And they're just not going to make enough open threes. No. j -Bo's played great, but she's... And that's a... That's an interesting blocking foul, she yeah. say. Yeah, she just slowed the play, but tough though. I don't know if she plays at the ball, but either way, uh, Japan out of bounds. Yeah. Mooney moves it. Uh, Miyazaki puts it up. As long Jones, yet another rebound. You know they who's going to have a highlight reel today is Jones. She's going to run uh, out of space in that rebound line. Yes, yeah, she's at uh, 27 points and uh, 15 rebounds. Incredible. As uh, j -Bo, j -Bo. good defense by Japan. Four on two break because Japan never stopped. Muli with the big second step. Doesn't get it to go. And that is an example of why Bosnia just have to keep playing. Yeah, they sure do. And nothing but smiles here as the extra effort as she goes over. Where is that girl gone? Yamamoto, come back to us. Great effort from her. 
Bosnia ball. Joel Meta to the corner. Jura turns down the three for a tough two. And you just have to ask why. Jones is just contesting it. Jura just stays with it and comes up with it. Great effort on the glass. Only seven on the clock. Taric recognizes, puts it up. Great work on the glass, though. Jabo again adds to an impressive performance. She's really gassed. Jones leans away for two. And they just will not go away, Bosnia. Cuts it to a six-point game again. Eight to go in the fourth. That fadeaway jump shot mark is unguardable, in my opinion. That yeah. is an excellent thing she has. She's playing a lot of minutes. Mui puts it on the floor again. They give it a lane, but then they help. Inside out, another three. It's long. I was calling it good before yeah. it was. <laughs> Wait for it to go in now, Mark. <laughs> And there's a foul in transition. And uh, Kayo picks up Jura. No, it's not Jura, sorry, it's Taric. You know what? What Bosnia aren't doing very well, they're getting sucked in. You know, they've got to stay pretty much glued to their player. Usually, you know, you'll be in help defense, but this game isn't a help defense kind of game. You've got to play one on one. Jones, they've got to give her space to play. She kicks, Tarrant lines up the three, got it! And there's that inside-outside option in Jones and Bosnia. Sharing the basketball. Three-point game. Akashi. Yamamoto looking for space, looking for an opportunity to attack the defense. She's now got Jones Gardner. Great recognition inside-out, Yamamoto! Incredible. For three. Incredible, Mark. They just took their sweet time and just, you know, get, gave them what the defense gives them. Oh my gosh, I just can't. I can't. Tarich takes a tough two, gets it to drop, and Tarich has been impressive. But here comes Japan. They're pushing it. I don't think, uh, luckily, that is uh, Japan's ball, but. This is where I think Japan will just have that edge above um, Bosnia Herzegovina. They, as soon as they get scored on, the ball's in and out and down in transition within seconds. And yet again, they're looking for their three-point shot, which is they're shooting at a great clip right now. They are at um, still 47%, 19 from 40. 43-point shots they have shot. Still six minutes, 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Good call by the official, as always. Get that the right way round. Takada. Jones getting her feet outside the keyway. But then she has to get on the glass, and there she goes. Pulls the defensive rebound, Taric. Now they just have to get something they want. They can't be rushed right now. They're right in this ball game. Mm. Got their mismatch that they want. Jones gets it. Got to read it. Babich for three is off the glass. Sunday night opening in the banks. Yep, Sunday, 7.18, the bank is open. And boy, did they need that one. Japan want to talk about it. Bosnia have brought the game back. 74, 75, Japan up one. And Bosnia giving all oh, that nice fade away from uh, Mother of Dragons. But Bosnia giving Japan a bit of their own medicine. Step back three. Off the bank. So Japan take the timeout. And you saw Bosnia in, in Eurobasket. I did, yeah. And uh, this is the Bosnia that played hard in Eurobasket. This is the Bosnia that really upset lots of people in that tournament and just played this way. Yeah, and this is what I was kind of disappointed about yesterday. They didn't really give their all uh, and their style of play of being gritty, being hard nosed. Uh, and also other players stepping up. Obviously, John Cole Jones is doing what she does. She has 29 points, ladies and gentlemen. That is not new for her. She knows how to score and score at will. So also maybe Japan need to find a way to get the ball out of her hands. But she has that fadeaway jumper, which to me is unguardable. Uh, but we've got ourselves a game. Oh, I'm happy to see it. Have we got ourselves a game? 29 points, 18 rebounds in 32 minutes. She's, uh... I already put my vote in for MVP. Can I take it back? 
No, no. too late. No, okay. because uh, maybe the MVP had two great games. Oh, no, you're correct. Who I put in <laughs> did have two great games. I'll tell you later who I voted for. Yamamoto gets it into the half court. Akaya gets it onto Nui, tries to attack it, goes to the far side of the ring, blows the layup. I love that. Do you hear John Cole Jones? Yep. Take your time, take your time. Just relax, we yeah. have the basketball. Yep. Chance to lead the game here for Bosnia with six to go in the fourth. She's got the baseline drive there. Jones has it one on one, going to work. Little lean away for two is good. Oof. And that's automatic. And she knows it too. She's got a beautiful stroke. And we've got a foul that uh, Bosnia didn't need to commit, but... Uh, and keeping their fouls is going to be really important for Bosnia. They can't take away their opportunity to try and kill bad situations in transition by just fouling. No. But, and there's no reason to lose one then. Japan will have it on the sideline with uh, our girl, Yamamoto. We love a bit of Yamamoto. She has the ball here. Takata rolls. Yamamoto's under the baseline. Needs a pass now. No, she doesn't. Off the glass, doesn't get it to go, and Jones just cleans up the mess on the glass, and that handles it. Oh, almost guarded by uh, her own player. Then as Delic came to relieve her of the ball, ten to go on the possession. Uh, too much traffic, too much congestion. Delic stays with it, Good and that ball is going to go back to Japan. Good defense there, just gets her in the way and nice hands also by Delic not giving up on the play. That's what we kind of needed to see. Yep, absolutely needed to see. What but we didn't see on game day yep, two. Yep, I would agree. Yamamoto comes off the ball screen. Takada's going to roll. Jones has to take care of it under the glass and it's the rebound again. It's 20 for her. 20 rebounds. Wow. Is at 34 minutes too, so she's going to probably end up playing. Off. This is where she needs a little help on the score in front. Babbage thinks about it. Five on the possession, they skip it. That's a long, loopy pass, and there's no way that Japan is not going to fly with the basketball to get a piece of that one. 2.6 yeah. seconds to go. I don't, I don't think we need to guess where this might go. But let's talk about uh, talking about a back screen. I can see. Um, oh, let's talk about the Japanese uh, defense flying on the move of the oh, ball yeah. and, and not giving up. 2.6. Jones is just staying out of the play. You have to take a tough one. That was never going to work. That's interesting that she didn't even want the ball there. Takada guarded on the trail this time. Takada with a post up. Great defense by Talich. She just used her quickness to get round. And Takada and Takayashi in the game for the first time together. Go inside. Going to lob it in there. Jones gets it, keeps it up. Is fouled and won. It's unstoppable if she's that deep. <laughs> yeah. And great knowledge of uh, Bosnia. Look, they've, she's got the smaller Yamamoto. She can't even do anything. She's looking up at the tree and saying, help me, guys. Fantastic offense and a timeout called. And, and good job, Bosnia taking their timing and executing the mis mismatch. So 78 to 75, again, sorry uh, that we can't listen in to the timeouts as we would normally do. Rebounding game, Bosnia 41, no doubt. That is 20 of Drunkard Jones, mother of dragons, rebounds. She's incredible, but she is very, very tall. So sometimes she doesn't even have to jump. She just puts her, her arms up there, as you saw of that finish, just it, catch the ball. And, and it is only half them though. And we talked about how poor Bosnia were on the glass and everyone's trying to chip in. Yeah, much better job from their bench also and their other players. Obviously, John Paul Jones is playing very, very well, but Babich, uh, Jabo also, 
uh, Trevard, they're all doing very well in, in chipping in, but also they're playing a higher tempo yeah. today. Hustling, got... diving on the floor, tip balls, yeah. rebounding. Three other players in double digits for Bosley. That's almost, because right. Jones is going to get hers. Right. So everyone else, and Tarich has done exceptionally well to handle the pressure. And uh, Babich, we keep asking for Babich to perhaps take more shots. Mm. But uh, Jones has an opportunity to increase this to a four-point lead with 4.14 to go. The advantage Japan have is that they've been here before on so many occasions after over the last few championships, winning tight games, winning one and two point games to qualify, winning one or two point games to medal. Yeah, and they'll just stick to what they're good at. They'll wait for the open shot. Kashi on the penetration, the kick. Takada lines up the three and misses it. Well, that's Japanese basketball, yep, but uh, on today's game, Maybe the what is drying up a little bit from the three-point line. Delic gets it to Jones. That's a great pitcher. And they're going to call Yamamoto oh, for the push. <laughs> Hopefully somebody got that pitcher. That's incredible. Look at this. The shortest guard in the tallest. And it tells you everything about Japanese basketball. Mm. In stance, she still was trying to fight for her space. She's at her belly button, Mark. She's not sure what she but can she do didn't there. But she didn't back down. She sure didn't. That's not their style. Jones lines up the three, is long. Defensive rebound. Team secured, and Yamamoto gets a piece of that. And I think it was Yamamoto who was fouled. And... Uh, Foul called. And I think it was uh, Jabo's foul. Yep. Jabo's just, every team Solid. needs a Jabo. Yeah. Every team needs a Jabo. I think so. Just works hard, does, stays in her lane, picks and rolls, can shoot the three also, and is tough. Everyone needs a Jabo. I'd say those, uh, any fans that are watching this game in Australia are going to be, are going to love the Japan visit in the World Cup. Mm. And they're going to love John Cole Jones as well. Inside out. Yamoto turns down the three. I didn't think I was going to say that. Backs it out now. Mooney with a quick first step draws contact. And Jabo picks up the personal. And that puts Bosnia into the penalty with 3.18 to go. Japan have, have one more foul to give. And Jabo's fourth foul also, so she can't pick up anymore because she's a critical part of this team. And they turn it out. Oh, nope. So Kashi and Malubi combine to save it. He puts it on the floor, doesn't hesitate, steps back, is blocked. And you, you can talk about all the great things that John Cole Jones does in terms of her offensive efforts and skills, etc. But she works hard. And she does. She does. Great you know, move by her. Uh, you're not that good without working hard. It's yeah. just great attitude on it. They're gonna try and drag her out the middle. Better defensive effort though. Four on the yeah, clock. Car goes up with the left hand over Jones, doesn't get it to go, and Jones changed the shot. Joba with a rebound. And Taric with Bosnia with a four-point lead. They don't need to rush anything here. They know where they'd like to get the ball. They know where they'd like to run. Jones needs a touch right now. Gets one. Fade away. Watch it. Goes to the middle. Ooh. Gets to the far side. Is fouled. And there's a bunch of people Ball's in the Katarinaberg who held their breath on that one. Yeah. I thought she was going to go with the classic JJ move, but she got to the rim. And little sort of uh, shout as she went down. Looked like she got her leg caught up. That's the fourth team foul for John, John. Japan. And Bosnia have a chance to well, lead this by six. Mm. That's only two threes, though. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, John Carl Jones is good at the line. And uh, she definitely knows how to play in these moments. And she loves to play in these moments. She is a competitor and loves to just play it. Two for two from the yeah, line, never in doubt. Yeah. So Japan, um, I don't think this was going to be the phrase we were talking about. Have to come down and get something here with 2.40 to go. Yeah. Good job, Jones, showing a hand. 
Bosnia extend the defense. No one on the help line. They're just going to go inside them. Louis goes up. Ball fake for two is good. But Bosnia will take the two. Yeah, they will. No point helping here and giving up the three. Taric spins. Gets her feet set for two. It's long. And the Cajo comes up with another positive stat. Akaho wide open for three, is short. And Akaho knows, wide open yet again. They don't uh, punish Bosnia's bad transition defense. Well, a bullet dodged is the phrase. Yes. Taric again deals with the pressure. And you've got to say Taric has done a better job at solid. dealing with the Japanese pressure than Canada did. Yeah, solid job by her today. It's a great performance by her. Jones in the block. Babich attacks the closeout, gets inside and draws contact. Great decision by, um, uh, by uh, Nikolina Babich. She could have just settled here. The closeout is off balance. She takes the baseline, gets the contact and will go to the free throw line. Yeah, great move by her. And just hangs in the air a little. And she goes to the line. Important free throws here, because like you said, they can light it up from the three-point line, and they're right back into the game. And it does give Bosnia the opportunity again to spread their defense and offer the chance for Japan to attack it and settle for two. Babic misses the first, though. And Jones cleans up the mess. Once in it, back in the block. Skips it. The three is good. j -Bo is having the game of her life. Incredible three. Lovely skip pass by the Jones. <laughs> wow. Well, who would have thought? Absolutely who would have thought. They'll be screaming and shouting in Sarajevo. Yeah, they will. Look, lovely cross-court pass. Nothing but net. Splash for j -Bo. Good for her. She's feeling it. And Bosnia up. 84-77. Japan want to talk about it. Live and die by those threes, and they are dying right now, Mark. Absolutely. Absolutely right, Azania. And, uh, and now they've got no alternatives. They're gonna have they're gonna have to they're gonna have to go with it. There's a lot there's a lot more pressure if you have to go for it. Yeah. Than if it's like in our rhythm we're gonna shoot the three. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm excited for Bosnia because I needed them to react from yesterday and they sure have come together as a unit and putting on a much, much better performance. And, and because of that energy, because of that hard, uh, hard nosed defense that they've been playing, that they're in this game and they're, and they're winning this game. But like we've spoken about, Japan is uh, no stranger from being down and um, know how to light up from three very, very quickly and have good defense as well. They'll probably full court press them and uh, and get it out of John Cole Jones's hands. Well, and if, if things stay this way round, they'll be, uh, if they've got home by now, wherever home is at the moment, the Canadians will could potentially <laughs> win this group. Yes, Which uh, they left yesterday, didn't they? They left yesterday, or they'll be celebrating at home if, uh, if Bosnia hold on here. Sideline possession, Yamamoto inbounds. Muri is the person to release. They go that flare screen again. Bosnia do a much better job at challenging it. The three is away and good. Mayahashi does what Mayahashi does. Here comes the press also. Four point game, Taric just gets it to Babic. There's plenty of time now, they've made the three. Bosnia just need to take their time, get the ball where they need to get the ball, Jones. Puts it on the floor, turns it over. Oh, she's, she's disappointed with that. And that's where the Japanese turned up and she just passes the ball. Just indecisive, indecisive actions on yep. the, uh, you know, for the receiver. Sorry, Mark, but surely they must have talked about no threes. I heard John Cole Jones hands up. Well, where are your hands up? Please. Here well, comes Japan. With 108 now and the ball, and it's a completely different scenario now. Malui has it. Does a great job at breaking the defense down. Spins to the middle. They're all staying at home. Jones comes to help. Malui gets the two. That's tough. 
That is tough going to the ring and direct protecting the ball over Jones. Yeah, incredible move here. Just takes a sweet time. Lures the defense in right through the middle over Jones. Could be a and one maybe, but lovely finish here. She played well in the first game also. Yeah, uses the left hand, protects it with a body and makes it a one possession game now with 53 seconds to go. Well, we spoke about it last time out that uh, that Japan can light it up, but they've gone for the twos, well, and they did have a three as well. Uh, that's five points in pretty much 45 seconds of game. I think that the experience that Japan have at yeah. championship games, the tight ends to games is, they haven't, they haven't worried, they've just absolutely executed what they're trying to do. Yeah, and they stay solid, and that is it. And there we see the two-point shot and the three-point shot is incredible. But we did, we have seen in this uh, Japan down 20 points. We so thought we were ready to go home, we were. have our dinner and drinks. Exactly. But they came back and, and beat Canada, so no doubt we were going to see that today. And surely Bosnia will take the ball at the end line to go 24 and they eat more of the clock because they have the two-point advantage. Correct. But also you want to make sure that all five players are ready to help each other out. This trap, this full court press from Japan is going to be hot and I mean, heavy. And that's the thing, isn't it? It's like the, the right thing to do is to go full court, but mm. you're going against the best defensive team in this tournament yep. and the team that really has hurried you up the whole game. Here we go then. 53, just a few ticks under. 54 seconds to go in the game. Two point margin, Bosnia lead it. And they go to Delic to advance the basketball. Jones has got to go to the block, surely. They're going to look deep. They're just going to offer the three. And Jabo can't get it to drop. Maluri comes up with a defensive rebound. And Japan has it. Travel, yes, calls it. <gasps> She knows it, she wanted to pass it. And she just dragged that foot. She didn't start it out, did she? Nope. No, she was moonwalking on that one. And uh, wow, uh, Bosnia Hexagon over, gets away with one and gets the ball back with a full court press yet again, Mark. They're gonna try and eat as much of the, 20 foot, of the 32 seconds left. Six second differential between game and possession. Tarich goes to Jones, where it was always going to go. Surely they're going to come and double team. They do. Extra pass. The open three is good. Babic. Babic steps up to knock down the three that may have done this for Bosnia. Is he down the middle for two? Is no good, and Jones ends up with it. Incredible. And John Curl Jones. And the teacher Tarich. And Nikolina Babic have led Bosnia to a huge win. They win it here, 87 to 82. What a tremendous performance by Bosnia and Herzegovina. Japan almost pulled it out the fire, but they go down by five in the final game here in Osaka. And there we see as the respect from uh, Bosnia to bow to the crowd and that three point line <laughs> you know, 47% they pretty much shot the same clip, but uh, Bosnia turned it up from the beginning. You know, they rebounded well, 46 rebounds to Japan's 36. And uh, steals, Japan won that game and assists pretty much even. John Quell Jones, they call her the mother of dragons for a reason, people. 36 points and she's had to play pretty much the whole game to get that going and her rebounding was incredible also so happy for the both of these teams they're both we get to see them again down under absolutely right both these teams will go to sydney australia at the end of september the draw is in march you know check out the fiba website for all the details about the draw Obviously here in Osaka, because of time difference, we've finished our qualification. There's still some huge games in the other qualification groups. Check those out. There's a huge game between Mali and Nigeria to go later on today. So, Bosnia end. We said we wanted them to end on a positive. Well, yeah. they're over excel in terms of their results. Yeah. Phenomenal performance.
and it just underlines how good they were in Euro basket. Yeah, and that's the team that I saw as they're happy. <laughs> Javo and Babbage played it excellent, and they're all smiles. Um, but for me, oh, each team won a game, didn't they? In this, Canada won one, Japan won one. Everybody went yeah. one and one. Yeah. Can Canada will, will win the group on points difference, okay. but because uh, they had the big, big win over Bosnia. Correct. You're right. Well, but if you still. can hear this, Kylie Minogue's on again. <laughs> I should be so lucky. An uh, iconic Australian is the uh, theme tune that they're using to take these pictures, which if you are in Bosnia, if you're reading a newspaper in Bosnia tomorrow, if you're watching TV in Bosnia, you are going to see these pictures of your national team going to the World Cup for the first time in their history. Yeah. And their country have really got behind them. They've supported them from the start. And congratulations then. Bosnia, Hexagonova qualifies. What a beautiful picture there as they've got their blue hats. And they're going to Australia in September. Fine. I'm happy for them. And this, and this is, uh, again, you know, the World Cup is about different teams, different styles. And Bosnia have yeah. a, their style. They have a superstar and the World Cup needs superstars and they've got one in John Curl Jones but she can't win unless they play like they played today. Yeah, she had 36 big points and 18, no, 23 rebounds, excuse me, 18 defensive boards and uh, she's definitely put it all out here every day she does when she puts that Bosnia uh, jersey on. She played pretty much 39 minutes, Mark. I didn't think she was going to have yeah, to. 30, but 39 minutes. Ugh. He's going to be tired on that plane. But all smiles for the Bosnian ladies. Very, very happy for them as they get their ticket. Well, it's, uh, and what a year it could be for John Bell Jones. You know, a Euro, Euro basket all star at the beginning of the season. She goes to a World Cup. She's going to be in EuroLeague women late, later stages, probably in the finals. And she won MVP too in uh, WNBA, yeah. I'm pretty sure. So. so, you know, it's like there's not a lot else she has. What she needs there is a World Cup medal. Yeah, why not? And I, I really, I really love their style. They, you know, they've uh, embraced her, and uh, and the other teammates really stepped up today. That's what we needed. And if this team's going to be successful moving forward, John Carl Jones is going to do what she does, right? But can Babbage, can can uh, J Bo step up, which she did, lovely. Uh, and now it's Japan's turn. You know, we will probably not as happy as uh, they would like to be, but no doubt they always smile and they are at home. So enjoy this moment in front of your home crowd and fans. Uh, let's say it was an onslaught for, for, for that Bosnia withheld from this team when they shot the ball, the way they moved the basketball. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, Japan qualified to uh, so backing up the silver medal they got in Tokyo. They'll go to the World Cup, backing up their performances in the Asia Cup, where they've won that for the last five occasions. So this team will represent its, its country, represent the region of Asia, and they're going to be a team that no one's going to want to be in the draw with. No, nope, that's not want to be playing them in the in the first round of the World Cup, because this team is going to make you work for every second. Absolutely. And as they showed in Tokyo, they can get big wins. And you don't want to play them, especially when, okay, they lost today, but shooting 46%. They went 20 from 43 from the three. So, uh, you know, do they learn from this also? You know, you live and die, and they died, but they shot a great clip, and, and it was working for them at moments in time in the game. But Bosnia really just stayed with it, stuck with their style, found John Paul Jones and other players. j -Bo stepped up, hit big threes, big rebounds. And uh, Japan's going to learn too, because the World Cup, like you said, is lots of different styles of basketball, and that was probably their first time playing. Well, uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Well, we're going to see the, the best plays, and, and for, the, for the first part of these best plays, it's going to be exactly what we saw for the whole of the game. Japan moving the ball, Bosnia trying to hang around, and they, they went down double digits three times and kept coming back. And, uh, you know, John Cole Jones just became a bigger and bigger factor. But the point we made during commentary, and, and, and you as a as a as a as a sensor will notice, if you don't feed the bear, the big player, enough, you just don't get enough in return. And and, and you've got to say that uh, Toshakiki was no factor in right. the game. Yeah. 
You're and right. she was a great what? factor yeah. against Canada. Correct. And where the big for Bosnia, JJ got her touches. And uh, you're right, if the bear doesn't get his honey, we get a little angry as I am a post player. And, I, and it's important for the, the touches to go inside because that yeah. does open up the three point shots, which uh, Japan were getting. It's a super game of basketball, though. It's, yeah, it's, we can analyze it to death. But yeah, at the end of the day, both teams went at it hard. Bosnia, we always said the teams will be better game day two. Mm. They just showed so much character that they hung around when they could have just folded. No, you're right, in guts. But I did speak about that the game yesterday, didn't I? Yep. Canada had one game in them, they had played Japan. Uh, and sometimes that's it, it's a bit of nerves, it's a little dust, it's travel, it's jet lag. You know, we are nine hours ahead of or, or wherever you're from, so it's tough. You know, I've been struggling and I'm not even playing. Well, I'm struggling and I'm <laughs> never playing, so. <laughs> Not for, not for very many, many years, and some would argue never. But yeah. uh, we're going to get a chance in a moment to recognize the best five players in this uh, tournament and the most valuable player in this tournament, the mm. TSO sponsored awards. They're just uh, getting that uh, rate. We've had our say. We've chipped in with our votes. The, mm -hmm. the media here have, uh, have put in theirs. On, Unfortunately, Canada have taken the opportunity to leave because their players were obviously mid-season. Yeah. So uh, they didn't put us in their suitcases to no, take us with us. But we'd have missed this game. Oh, you're right. You're right. We're here to do our job, and we've done it well. And we've never had to work a game because the games have been easy to work. Yeah. So. You know what would have been so interesting is obviously, sadly, uh, um, Belarus, Belarusians didn't make it, and this tournament would have been incredible if you had those two oh. and a different style of basketball but nevertheless uh you know with the world the way the world is going you have to adjust and and these three teams came and gave it their all they played very very hard considering they knew uh they were going to qualify sometimes you just think Ugh, uh, it takes the, the wind out of your sails i don't really care but all three teams were tremendous this tournament and i, I really enjoyed commentating this well here we go then the uh our presentation ceremonies for the all-star fives being awarded by uh, Ms. Yukoko Mitsuya, the president of the Japan Basketball Association and also a central board member of FIBA. And uh, she will uh, make the presentations. So here are the all-stars. And just getting her recognition in the arena and not a person has pretty much left the arena uh, they want to recognize both the work that uh, Yoko Matsuya does as uh, the president and the central board member but also they want to recognize the quality of the all-star five So they're just going to announce the All-Star 5 first, and then we will have the MVP and the first member of the All-Star 5. No surprise here as John Quell Jones is announced, proudly wearing the hat that's part of her ticket to Sydney. Gets her award. Mm -hmm. She had uh, 15 points last game, and a big, big game today with 36 points. And um, Bridget Colton yep. had a super tournament. Two games she just put out. And as we say, you know, Canada have left. But Bridget Colton, phenomenal performance. Yeah, I voted for her. And Himawali Akaho, who for, who for me was just so, so consistent. Yeah, consistent Japan. and solid. 15 yeah. points the first game and 14 points. Uh, this game, very, very solid and a, and a crucial piece of this team. And Stephanie Mamouli is the third, well, the fourth member of this all-star team. Mm -hmm. Went for 18 points last game and uh, eight today. But big also, she's a, a walking bucket, I think. Yep. When, when they need a, a point, 
and a basket they go to her. Who was the fifth, sorry? Carlton and, uh, I don't know. Did they call a fifth? I didn't. Well, let's hope it was Natalia Chomwa. Yeah, I voted for Natalia Chomwa. Um, they didn't tell but us. But now we're going to get the uh, MVP. award for the most valuable player, presented by Diesel. The presenter is Yoko Mitsia. So the president, uh, Ms. Yoko Mitsuya, will present the MVP award, and sponsored by TISO. The most valuable player of FIFA Women's Basketball World Cup 2022 qualifying tournament in Osaka is. <laughs> And John Quell Jones is this tournament's MVP. Mother of Dragons. A, a, another, another award of an incredible career that just goes from strength to strength. And a beautiful smile there, ear to ear. John Quell Jones, fantastic numbers today, guys. She was incredible, and her team needed her for this win. She had 36 points. Uh, and fantastic on the rebounds as well with 23 and two blocks. And there we see it. I tell you, that, that you picked this up on the first uh, day as a team come out to celebrate with us. Yeah. Even here in Japan, she has a fan club. Yes, you know? she does. People with her shirt. There are local people here in Osaka. There are some Bosnian fans in the crowd as well, quite remarkably. Yeah. Um, but uh, she has... She's one of those other people you can see it and dream it. And yep. she's just a great advert for the game of basketball. Yeah, incredible. And especially where the women's game is going. You know, she's long and lean, able to handle the basketball, can shoot the three. Uh, a real, you know, different look to the way the game is being played. And, and I'm really happy for her and, and for Bosnia Hexagonova to get this win and, and go home on, on a high. I think so important for them, you know, with the only with the three teams qualifying for each team to have won a game. Yeah, that's good. And, and speaking to the Bosnian delegation earlier in the week, it's such a big deal for them to make their first World Cup. Yeah. You know, in a part of the world that prides itself on its basketball in terms of the Balkans, they're now there as a, 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 a genuine competitor in that part of the world. Yeah, they know it. So here is the uh, final table with Canada actually winning the group. Japan in third and Bosnia with that win, getting themselves into second place. I'm not sure that's, uh, that they had that huge loss to uh, Canada. So I think the points difference might be the other way around. But uh, we're going to leave you with some great pictures of the last three games. Uh, for me, Zainu, it's been a privilege. It's been great to do the games with you. and. Uh, Thank Let's hope much. we see these three teams in, in Australia. Yeah, I hope to see you. Thank you. It's always a pleasure and blessings to be here. And we'll see you now. Goodbye from Osaka.